The cyber sleuths at CBL Data Recovery have brought some high-powered help on board to track down the bad guys. And joining us is that uh, that special person, retired OPP investigator Larry Edgar. Good morning to you, Larry. Good morning, sir. Now, uh, this is very exciting. I mean, you've obviously had a very distinguished uh, and full career with the OPP and in law enforcement, and now you're taking the skills and applying them to what CBL uh, does. Tell us about that. How's this yes, going to work? Yeah, I retired uh, early last year and I was approached by CBL and see if they were interested in getting involved in forensic investigations. And uh, so we had discussions regarding that and what was required for that. And as a result, I came aboard as an investigative consultant. Now, what will you be doing? Had you been doing the more white collar crime, I think, in the, in the latter part of your career? Yes, I was the director of uh, Major Cases Criminal Investigation Bureau in the OPP when I retired. And what I'll be doing now is assisting CBL in the forensic end of things and basically what that involves is preparing us to do forensic investigations and really forensic investigations is any investigation that could be subject of litigation it could go before a civil court or a criminal court or whatever and in order to do that there's certain rules of evidence in court that you have to follow such as continuity uh, so forth with exhibits as a result of that we've developed some policy on how we handle uh, data coming in for forensic investigations such as the method of collection, the continuity, how it's to be examined, uh, the notes to be taken, the storage, contamination, those type of issues. We've now developed policy to address those issues. Now is it, is it sort of a menu of, I guess, crimes or bad behavior that's, that's being investigated and probed or is it specifically sort of data theft and, and hacking? Or Basically it covers anything uh, that can give evidence off a, a computer whether it be a fraud, whether it be somebody making a statement regarding a murder, whether it be anything of that nature. But when we talk about forensic investigation, we're talking about the potential to go to court. Okay, give us an example of a case that you've either worked on or are working on. Now, like they kind of sort of really nail it down to a real world type. Okay. In generalities, we have one case now that we're working on, and basically what's happened, a, a gentleman's come forward to his, his insurance company, and stated that somebody's hacked into their computer system and destroyed the hard drive of 25 computers, I believe it is. Well, you know, we've been able to determine that is not the truth at all, that this was a fraudulent claim. Indeed, and obviously there'd be a lot of insurance and uh, a lot of riding on that, right? Yes, sir, there would be. Absolutely. Now, uh, one interesting thing about this is that, uh, of course, when you're doing any kind of investigation, uh, there's the potential for the investigator looking at the data. And, and so if, if data has been compromised, I mean, it kind of opens the door to you seeing the data, but you don't actually ever really see uh, the material. I mean, security is not compromised by the investigation. From what I understand, I mean, it's, uh, you're not actually seeing the data that, you, that you're probing. No, that's correct. It's, it's, so how does that work? Is it a trail? I mean, because you're following the trail, you don't need to actually see the, uh, uh, the data in question, basically, right? basically what would happen when a client would give us a, a disk to a hard drive to review, they would download that data and they can read that data and then provide that back to the uh, client. Now, now, is this uh, something that's basically available or, or affordable to, uh, to the very biggest of, of companies? Or, this or is available to insurance companies, it's avail available to the police, it's available to the defense bar, it's basically develop available to anyone that has an interest. Excellent. Well, he has the high-tech sleuth, he's on the case, Larry Edgar, a CBL Data Technology. Thank you. Now, now we're going to roll that currency board.